Alright, so since she didn't um, pull her little stunt with uh, the fuel issue, that will explain what to do if it does happen to you. If your truck fires up and then dies a few seconds later, the problem is that you're getting air in the fuel lines. And once air gets in there, uh, it doesn't build enough pressure to fire the injectors anymore. And it takes quite a bit of cranking to uh, get that, that air out of there. Um, usually where the air gets in at is in this somewhere. A lot of times it can leak here. Um, if you have a 6.9, it's going to have um, a spout here where the return line will connect to it. And the return lines are these down here in between the injectors. Or you could just have loose fittings down here. Like mine does leak a little bit there and this is loose as you can see that, but it's tight. I need a new line. Um, besides that, you could have a bad valve here. You gotta make sure that's shut tight. Uh, check all these lines here. This is says uh, turn check line here. Uh, but the most common place where you get air in the lines is these right here. The O-rings inside of here, there's two in here, one on top and one on the bottom, will go bad and it'll start to leak. And air gets into here, which then circulates back into the pump. Okay. Uh, I could be wrong on how that works, but I do know that this is the most common place where it leaks. And the way to check to see if it's leaking is if the injector is wet here. Okay, this one is just barely wet. The worst one I've got is over here. That one has been actually pretty wet before. It doesn't always leak real bad for some reason. I don't know why it only sometimes leaks. Um, but any of these long hair, check for signs of fuel on there. If they are even remotely wet, they're leaking. Okay. Um, and as you can see, I've got, I don't know if you can see that actually, uh, it is wet down there. Uh, so I am leaking fuel to the main input line here. That's also a problem for me. Um, now as glow plugs, if your truck is not starting well in the cold and it's not a fuel issue, uh, you want to check your glow plugs. It's real simple. You pop off these wires and they come right off like that and you test for ohms resistance from the top of the plug to the ground. Okay? If you get if you get a no reading whatsoever the plug is, is dead. 100% resistance is dead. The plug's dead. You want little resistance so it should read basically as if you were as if it was uh, a straight connection um, other than that if you're curious my truck here this is the cold advanced solenoid it does not work on my truck nor does the high idle solenoid, which is this right here. Those don't work on my truck, so um, what you're hearing, that is actually the block heater. It works so well that it actually um, boils the, <laughs> or does something similar to that with the coolant. Um, the radiator itself is warm, so that block heater will literally keep the entire thing warm to the touch even in cold weather it's an excellent block heater and it's I don't know it's internal it's you know. so if you are having fuel problems and you are and you've found that you are getting air into your lines and it's probably why it you know is dying after starting 
uh, or if you can't get it to start at all because uh, of something like that what you might try doing is loosening these lines you loosen them, I, I would only loosen half of them at a time okay and you just crack them open and crank until you get fuel running out of the of the line alright then once you do get that tighten the lines back up then it should start off the four you just did and crack the other ones and let it run while it's bleeding the other ones that way you're not killing your battery so much uh, and then you can even tighten them back up while it's running and to truly bleed the lines it does have to be running and you just go one by one and crack it until uh, you know you think it's got all the air out and tighten it back up and do that down the line um, to bleed the lines and that sometimes will even make your truck run even smoother than it did before